Yo, what is going on guys? It is A-Rose and I am back with another video. So for this video, we're going to be talking about why Kyrie Irving has become such a great leader for the Boston Celtics this year. Okay, so the Boston Celtics currently sit in first place at the top of the Eastern Conference with a 33-10 and record. And within that 33-10 and record, they had a remarkable, truly remarkable 16-game win streak. It was just amazing to watch. The Celtics were dominating during that streak. But I mean, Kyrie Irving is the leader of this team. This is a guy who, in my opinion, you know, at least before this season, was a guy who's, you know, kind of ball hoggish, didn't really want to play with LeBron, maybe because he wanted to be the focal point, sort of a selfish attitude, uh, you know, about him. So the question is, how is he doing this? How has Kyrie Irving completely reinvented his game, or I shouldn't say completely reinvented, but at least reinvented himself to be a true leader for this Boston Celtics team? And it's just working. Everything is clicking for the Celtics. They do have some flaws. Obviously, no team is perfect. They're, I wouldn't say they're the clear-cut best team in the NBA, even though I think they may have the best record right now, or they're one game you know, away from being tied for the best record with the Warriors. But the Warriors are definitely better than them. But the Celtics, they're great. Kyrie Irving has been great this year. But I want to explain to you why Kyrie Irving has been such a great leader for the Celtics this year. So to look at Kyrie Irving's statistics this year, he's averaging 24 points per game. So that was expected. Personally, I expected him to average somewhere around 27 to 28 but 24 is fine because he is facilitating the ball more this year he's become a more willing passer you can see it I mean whether the numbers show it or not he definitely is not as he doesn't come across as much of a selfish ball hoggy type player as he did in Cleveland at times at least in my opinion um, it's also worth noting Kyrie Irving is having his most efficient year from the field this year shooting nearly 40% from three and nearly 50% from the field to be specific 48% uh, from the field so great uh, efficiency from Kyrie Irving this year and it's also worth noting Kyrie Irving is one of the better if not one of the best uh, defensive guards this year I'm not sure exactly how the defensive win shares statistic works and what it exactly means but I do know Kyrie Irving is up there with you know being one of the best defensive guards this season so his defense has improved his passing has improved and his efficiency has definitely improved but besides just the great statistics from Kyrie Irving this year it is worth noting he said in an interview he said quote as a young player, I used to get stuck in one game and think that this was going to be the end-all be-all. If I don't shoot well tonight, then I don't know if I'm going to make it until tomorrow, man. And that's just how mechanical I am about the game. But now, it's really about the big picture. As long as I can affect the game on the defensive end, offensive end, and put your team in a great position to win, that's the only thing that really matters. So that quote from Kyrie Irving says it right there. He has completely changed his mentality and how he approaches the game. He went from a guy who was only focused on scoring and felt like if he had an off night, his team had no chance to now, if he's having an off night, as long as he's doing it on the defensive end, even if it's not working on the offensive end, and he's putting his team you know, in a position to win, that's just all that matters. He even said that's all that really matters in the end. So that's the main reason for me why Kyrie Irving has become such a great leader. He has reinvented his mentality of how to play basketball, and I think it's just really working, and it really shows. That's why the Celtics are in first place. I'm not really going to get into the, you know, are they the favorites to come out of the East? Or are they the favorites to win? That I can talk about in other videos, but at least for now, the Celtics are playing some really great basketball. Kyrie Irving is the leader of the ship, and he's going to take them pretty far this year. Yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And that's going to do it. Peace out.